Hi, this is Jonathan Rosenherr, the Jerusalem Psychotherapist. This week's Torah and Psychology Post of Pasha Vayakal and the War in Israel is going to look at self-esteem. So in this week's Pasha, we're told about Bezalel and why he was chosen to be the person to create the Mishkan, to build the Mishkan and to create the Kalim, the vessels in the Mishkan as well. And it does highlight the fact that he was a highly accomplished and highly successful craftsman. And that the craftsmanship was of a high quality work, the intricacy, the complexity that was that went into creating the Mishkan and the vessels is certainly apparent. But what the Pasuk is highlighting is that he was chosen not because of the beauty and the external quality that would come out from his work, but rather that we're looking at the craftsman himself. We're looking at the in, internal quality the, that he had, this Ruach Elohim that he had. That yes, he had Chochmah and Das, he had the wisdom and the intellect to be able to carry out his work and create high, and he created high quality work and was very successful. But this Ruach Elohim is a set of self-esteem that enables a person to be successful. That he had this internal quality, this high level of self-esteem that was imbued within him or that he had. And that the, that the Pasuk is focusing on that because he had this internal quality, this, this is why he was chosen and this is what enabled him to be a, success, a successful craftsman and to carry out the work of the Mishkan. So we see in terms of self-esteem that it's not based on the exter on externalities, on the external quality, the beauty of the work and the quality of the work that was carried out in the end. It's not necessarily focused on the external results, but we are looking at the internal quality of Batsala and this is this is what we can we can understand it in terms of being a high level of self-esteem. And I think in particular, my experience in working with teenagers and teenagers when they're in yeshiva or in high school, I've seen, I have seen that this is, there's a, a high focus and importance that's given to external success in terms of the grades that they receive, in terms of the amount of knowledge and understanding of the material, also in terms of peer relationships and the, the impression that they give over and the way that their friends view them, the peer pressure is such a high, it's so dominant and so prominent in, in, in yeshiva and in schools and, and in, definitely in terms of the stage of, uh, of, teen when, of teenagers. This is a period in life which is really touching on the vulner vulnerability and testing the level of self-esteem, the high or low level of self-esteem. And what, we, what I've seen with teenagers as well is that this, it can be caught up with a, a level of, uh, of anxiety and stress and perfectionism that really drives them on to be successful, but is something which is very, very, it's very difficult, very challenging, and can be debilitating in a way to be able to try and keep it up, to keep up this facade of success, which is based on, external, on externalities, on external sources of reinforcement. And what the therapy what I've done with, with, with teenagers is try to focus on their self-esteem and to try and change the perspective, to teach them that they, they are not their successes, that they have an internal self-quality, self-worth, a, a high level of self-esteem that needs to be rehabilitated and cultivated in order for them to understand that they have a self-value that is not dependent, meaning it's independent and separate from externalities, from their successes, from their grades or from their interactions on, on how they're viewed by their, by their peers. So therefore in therapy, it's really tapping into what are the, what are the trappings of low self-esteem? There's, there's, this, there's this sort of negative view of oneself, negative self-talk, the, the difficulties in interpersonal relationships and the, the challenge of being able to set clear boundaries in how you interact with other people. And the therapy will have tried to help a person to change this perspective, their, their, their thoughts, their feelings, their behaviors as well, which will all help them to try and create a, a stronger, more authentic view of themselves and tapping into their self-esteem as well, a sense of self-worth that is in that tapping into this internal quality, this ruach that, that we are learning from B'Tzalem. And how this relates to the war in Israel, it's similar to what we've been touching on the previous weeks, uh, last week in terms of self-identity, that the war in Israel and the, the success that we are seeing, Baruch Hashem, with the war in Israel, is not just based on some external, measurable, tangible quality in terms of the advancements into, in, into Gaza, the ability to bring back the captives, people have been capped, people have been kidnapped, unfortunately, there are still many who have not been returned, but there are there is a way to be able to view and see the external success of the of the of the military and of the IDF, 
and the advancements and developments in the war. But the success of the war is not dependent on this external quality, but rather what we're seeing and we can understand is that we're tapping into the high level, the high self-esteem, the self-value, the right to exist, which can be understood on, on, on many different levels, certainly within this war, of the B'nai Yisrael, of Am Yisrael, of the Jewish people, that we can see that it's tapping into this self-quality, that no matter what happens, Whatever the challenges are, it will not knock it will not knock us down. And this is represents, and we can see that, that this relates to high self-esteem. No matter what, a person is not affected by by external by, by, by challenges or by people trying to knock them down. You come back and, and you realize that it, it's not going to affect your self-value. It's not going to affect your, your self-esteem. So the success of the war is because of this high internal level of self-esteem. And this is something which you can obviously understand on an internal level, on a national level. We are not our successes. We are not the success that we are seeing in terms of a tangible um, military uh, advancement. Yes, we are grateful. And Baruch Hashem, we can see how we, we are being successful. And hopefully the war will end soon. But the success comes out because of the person themselves, because of the quality of Am Yisrael, this internal self-esteem that we have, this Ruach Elohim that Hashem has given us. Have a great Shabbos. Keep well.